So today I'm going to be sharing with you 26 ways to manifest what it is that you don't want. Now, some of you might be a little bit confused because in law of attraction teachings, we're told to focus on what it is we do want. But this form of thinking is called inversion thinking. I got it from business coach Alex Hermosi. And basically the way it works is by showing yourself ineffective strategies, the opposite of those strategies would be the solutions to your problems. So I'm going to show you how to manifest what it is you don't want. And by doing the opposite of that, you'll manifest everything that it is that you do want. So let's jump in. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Tony. I'm a manifestation coach. My videos have been viewed by millions of people online every month, actually. So thank you guys for your support. I've got over 160,000 followers on TikTok. And I want to share with you strategies and spiritual practices that will help your life be what it is that you want it to be. Now, to manifest what it is that you do want, the first thing that you need to do, excuse me, to manifest what it is that you don't want, the first thing that you need to do is to start focusing on what you don't want. Think about it, imagine it, spend time uh, talking about it, and where attention goes, energy flows, and essentially you'll create more of that which you, do, which you don't want. And in like fashion, by doing the opposite of that, by focusing on what it is that you do want, talking about it, imagining it, you'll, create, you'll begin to create the life that you desire through the law of attraction and through the law of cause and effect. Because every thought is essentially, every new thought is essentially a cause in and of itself. So you can start to think things independent of your circumstances and start to create new realities different than anything you've experienced before. But I'm not going to get too far off topic by talking about some of those, some of the other laws. I'm going to focus on the law of attraction today. Now, second thing that you can do to manifest what you don't want is to consume material that's not good for you. Every day, watch the news. Watch things that upset you. Read about it. And what it's going to do is it's going to upset you. It'll disrupt your vibration and cause you to manifest more of what it is you don't want in your reality. So don't do that. What you want to do is spend some time consuming things of a positive nature, things that make you feel good, things that grow you, things that shift your perceptions, that show you your hidden blind spots and triggers, and as a result, your vibration will raise and you'll attract more of that which you want. Third, if you don't want to manifest what, if you want to manifest what you don't want, spend time with people who are negative. It's an easy way to upset yourself, to put yourself in a bad mood, to manifest more of that which you don't want. So obviously you want to spend time with winners, spend time with people who make you feel good. And as a result, you'll start to create the life that you desire. Next, don't read or listen to anything of a spiritual nature. Just put that aside. You don't need to learn that. You're great the way you are. You can just go through life the way you've always done it. So you can just essentially put on your blinders and just go through life and just tell yourself, oh, I already know that stuff or I've already studied it. That's a great way to keep yourself stuck. But obviously the opposite is every day spend some time in your self-growth. Even if it's just 15 minutes a day or listening to something as you drive to work of a positive nature, all of this positive material will start to have a cumulative effect on your consciousness and things will begin to shift for you. There's, a, there's that saying in uh, software computing, it's called GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. If you put in bad coding, you'll essentially get a bad output. And it, it's the same for self-help and you being the best that you can be. If you put garbage in your mind, garbage is going to come out of your mouth. If you put good into your mind, good is going to come out of your mouth. So fill your mind with things of a positive nature and eventually you're going to be filled to overflowing and you're going to share that with others and take positive actions. Next, pay no attention to how you feel. It doesn't matter. You don't have, the law of vibration is nonsense. The law of attraction is nonsense. You don't have an emotional guidance system. If you want to be upset one day, go ahead and be upset and share your anger with everybody. If you want to be fearful, go and tell everybody your fears and pay no mind to how you feel or what you're manifesting moment by moment. And obviously the opposite of that is be keenly aware of how you feel. If you're angry, tell yourself, I'm angry. Uh, you know, what can I do to make myself feel better and take some positive actions such as go walk in nature, go meditate, go call somebody and have a constructive conversation you know, addressing whatever it is that's upsetting you, but take some action to move your vibration up the emotional scale, so to speak, so that you can feel better and as a result, you'll manifest better things. Next, you can ignore your emotional guidance system. So I, I kind of alluded to this a moment ago. There's an emotional scale, meaning at the lowest, the lowest vibration, I would say, is either fear or depression. With depression, you can't take any action. And higher than that is anger. You're still, you know, 
in a negative state, but at least you have, you know, you feel powerful. You can take some action. And above that was neutrality. And above that is peace. And above that is love. And so pay no mind to that emotional guidance scale. Just be whoever you want, you know, to be. And that'll manifest more of what it is that you don't want. Or you could be smart and do the opposite and use it. If you're feeling depressed, make yourself angry. Tell yourself, I don't like how I feel right now. I've had enough of this. And make yourself upset. Just don't live there or stay there. And allow use that uh, momentum, so to speak, to keep going. Tell yourself, you know what? I'm upset right now once you're angry. But in a little bit, I'm going to feel better. And so you've moved yourself up a little bit. And then tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to go do something constructive. You've moved yourself up even higher. You know what? I'm grateful that I feel better now. I'm going to go do something good for myself. So you just bounce yourself up the scale and then eventually you'll be back to being the, you know, the bright, beautiful person that you were born to be or that you were born as. Next, do what other people tell you to do, not what you want to do. Just completely ignore your intuition. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Other people know what's best for you. Go you know, be a mindless lemming or sheep and just do whatever it is that they tell you to do. That's a great way to manifest what you don't want. And obviously, in like fashion, I would recommend getting clear on what it is that you want, what makes you feel good, and do more of that so that you're living a life of beauty and joy. Next, affirm the negative. Tell yourself that you're not good, that nobody will love you, that nobody likes you. And as you put in that negative programming, that's what will manifest in your life. And in opposite fashion, tell yourself how great you are, that you're God's gift to the universe, that the perfection and wholeness of God flows through you. If you spend just a few minutes, just two minutes a day doing that, it's going to have such a positive impact on your psyche. You'll be amazed at how much your life transforms. Next, think you know it all. You don't need a coach. You don't need to study. You don't need to do anything. You're just, you're perfect the way you are and nobody can tell you what to do and just go through life in that fashion and you'll just be stuck creating more of what you don't want and life will just be this endless monotony of you just creating the same things over and over and over again. And obviously the opposite of it is go and seek out people who are playing at a higher level than you. Go and study, you know, biographies of the best. And as a result, you'll get new ideas and insights and concepts that'll transform your life. Number 10, don't meditate. Who cares about meditation? It's nonsense. Allow yourself to just wake up and go about the day and don't meditate at all, whether it's in the morning or afternoon or night. Who cares? Meditation is some spiritual woo-woo stuff. And obviously, the opposite of it is spend some time in meditation every day. It doesn't have to be a, a long amount of time. It could just be a few minutes. I like to do it in the morning. I meditate. I do my meditations and visualizations. In the afternoon, I reset myself because I, I get into work mode. And after a few hours of that, or not a few hours, of after eight hours or 10 hours or however long I've been working, I have to reset myself. Like, hey, relax. And then at night, I like to meditate as well to just release whatever energies of the day, anything that came up. But what you're also doing when you're meditating is you're stopping the resistance that, that you've built up around what it is that you want to manifest. So meditation, what happens is your resistance begins to diminish, diminish and those feelings of love and joy and peace and harmony that are your natural states of being be, begin to come, come up to the surface, so to speak. And as a result, you start to manifest quicker what it is that you want. Esther Hicks, the great metaphysician, says just 15 minutes a day of meditation is the most powerful tool that you can use to create your life, essentially. So spend some time in meditation every day. Number 11, imagine what you don't want. There's an intimate link between the brain and body. And as you keep imagining what it is you don't want, you're essentially programming your subconscious and your subconscious controls over 90% of what it is that you do. And you're programming it to create more of what you don't want. In opposite fashion, imagine what it is that you do want. Show yourself images of you succeeding. And when you show yourself these images, make them bright. That causes you to feel more emotion. It and by the way, bright images mean you're subconscious. Everything is good. So make these images bright. Make them beautiful. And uh, show yourself them consistently. Every day, show yourself you winning. And you're going to see it's going to have a huge effect on your subconscious. If you're depressed and you're watching this, Show yourself every day bright images of you winning and your subconscious, which doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined, it'll say, oh, I'm this bright, happy being now and it'll begin to shift you in a new direction. Number 12, 
Don't forgive your, excuse me, number 12, I'm going to redo it. Don't forgive yourself. If you want to manifest what you don't want, stay angry and resentful at everybody who's ever, excuse me, I'm confusing. I have number 11 and 12. Don't forgive yourself. Don't forgive others. So let me do uh, number 12 again. Don't forgive yourself. If you want to stay angry, uh, don't forgive yourself for any mistakes you made in the past. Hang on to all those regrets, all those hurts, all that negativity, and just allow yourself to just be an angry, miserable person. Sometimes people wonder, they say, oh, why are old people so cranky? What they've done is they have hurts that took place early on in life. They never address those hurts, and they just let them build up in their psyche, blaming other people for their problems. And what were, you know, small or, you know, simple experiences that happened or, you know, some what am I trying to say? Some individual moments that happen in their life, they've built them up into huge mountains now in their consciousness. And by the time they're older, they've been, you know, just as there's a law of compound with your stocks and your investments, there's a law of compound in what you think. And all this negativity is compounded in their psyche and now they're angry, bitter people. So don't be like that. Do some forgiveness work. I have forgiveness tracks on my YouTube channel. I can, uh, I'll put a, a forgiveness affirmation that you can say to yourself every day. All it is is I forgive every person, place, and thing that has knowingly or unknowingly, intentionally and un- or unintentionally hurt, harmed, or endangered me. And I am forgiven by every person, place, or thing that I have hurt, harmed, or endangered, whether intentionally or unintentionally. That's it. You just affirm these forgiveness apps over and over. And sometimes you have to, there's, there's layers of forgiveness. So sometimes you have to do it over and over and over again, but it's worth the effort. You don't want to carry around somebody else's negativity. There's that saying, resentment is like drinking poison, hoping the other person gets sick. Don't do that. You want to be your best, and I want you to be your best, so let go of their nonsense. Program yourself, show yourself images of you being your best, and watch how your life transforms. I kind of touched on this next point, number 14, regretting the past. If you regret your past, you're just telling yourself, I don't like, excuse me, you're telling the universe, I don't like what happened, but send me more of this. Recreate this in my future. It's an ineffective strategy. What I recommend doing is if you look at your past, look at it with praise. This is a great way to build self-esteem. Ask yourself, what did I do good in the past? So many of you, when I look at your lives as an outsider looking in, people come to me often for coaching and they've built multi-billion dollar businesses, they've gotten themselves in great shape, they've overcome illnesses, all kinds of trauma within their family. They're the, they've done all these amazing things and they go, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not a success, I'm a failure, I, I messed up on this area once 20 years ago. And I'm like, are you kidding? You're just focusing, you're magnifying this one negative area as opposed to looking at the areas that you really succeeded. So what I, would, what I recommend doing if you want to build your, build your self-esteem is every day ask yourself, what are three good things that I've done in my past? And your self-esteem will start to build. And you'll feel good about those, those areas, those things. And the law of attraction, which is really the law of vibration, as you keep hitting the, that vibration of feeling good, even if it's about past items, it'll say, oh, okay, let me bring more things for this person to feel good about. Next. Number 15 is hate people. If you want to go through life manifesting what you don't want, just go around hating people. Tell yourself that people are bad, that they deserve your hate, they don't deserve your love, including yourself because you're a person, and that's a great way to manifest what you don't want. You'll get negative responses from and reactions from everyone that you meet, and it'll be a horrible, miserable life. And in the opposite fashion, love people. Start by loving yourself. Tell yourself, I love and approve of myself. I'm God's gift to the universe. I'm the greatest person who's ever lived. It might sound uh, braggadocious, but it's worth it. Tell yourself things. Nothing bad can come from you affirming how great you are. You want to build yourself up in your own mind. And as you love yourself, it allows you to love others more. So you want to love yourself as deeply and as fully as you can. Next, number 16, have no control of your emotions. I alluded to this earlier. If you want to feel angry one day, go ahead and be angry. Go yell at people. Go be a jerk. If you want to be fearful, go be fearful. Just be all over the place. Be an emotional roller coaster and every day people wonder who's going to show up. And then the opposite of that is you want to take total control of your emotions. You want to be keenly aware of what it is that you're feeling and I would actually keep track of it. So let's say you're somebody who's suffering from depression and 10 hours a day you're negative and maybe 30 minutes a day you're, you feel okay. 
what I would do is that the next day I would, I would write it out. So 10 hours of negativity, 30 hours of positivity. The next day I would tell myself, I'm going to do one hour of positivity and then I'll do nine hours of negativity. And so you've grown. It's, it might be only by, you know, 30 more minutes of positivity, but the next day I'll tell myself, I'm going to feel good for two hours today and I'm going to do eight hours of negativity. And you just keep doing that. And then eventually what's going to happen is you'll be positive for you know 10 hours a day and you might be negative for maybe two minutes at a time and you'll also be able to catch yourself earlier on when you're starting to go in that negative when you're starting to go down that negative route and your life will really really transform it's a if you want to build spiritual muscle do that exercise next number 17 i say whatever it is that you want if you want to tell a negative story of the past just go ahead and share it if you want to say something bad about somebody just go ahead and share it you're essentially planting those seeds of negativity into your subconscious and they're going to bloom and you're going to create more negativity for yourself and for those people you're speaking bad about. So obviously don't do that. Do the opposite. Be You want to be a curator of your life experience. That's one thing. I know a lot of people hate Andrew Tate. He's the, uh, I don't know how to describe him, but he's like the new self-help guru. But one thing that he's, he does well is he's a curator of his life experience. He's keenly aware of the people he spends his time with, what he talks about, and most importantly, how he talks about himself. And you want to do the same. So tell stories that make you feel good because remember, the law of attraction doesn't care if something's actually happening to you or you're talking about a past event, but if it's causing you to feel a certain way, you're manifesting more of that. Next, number 18, never change your self-concept. We've all heard people who say, oh, that's just the, who I am or that's just the way I am. Yeah, go ahead and be one of those people and just be a, this fixed person who blames everybody else for their problems and never takes self-responsibility. And obviously, I'm going to, you know, as I've recommended before, do the opposite of that. You want the best self-concept that you can have. Every day, show yourself images of you winning. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, today's going to be the best day because I'm the best. I'm going to make this day, this week, this month, my absolute all. See yourself winning. Go and also, you can model other people's behaviors who are getting the results you want and it'll shift your self-concept. You'll say, oh, okay, they're doing this, I can do this too. And as you start to get successes by modeling other people, your self-concept will shift and you'll see yourself just as you see them. Number 19, have no standards for yourself. If you want to manifest what you don't want, just have no standards. So eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want, just let, let your life be this... Uh, you know, amorphous thing where you just respond or react to everybody with no real care for yourself. And opposite of that is you want to have high standards. Tell yourself, these are the kind of people I spend my time with. This is what I do every day for self-care. This is, you know, how I nurture my body and my soul. Set high standards and as a result, your life will really improve. And be around people who also hold you to a high standard. Number 20, blame others. Obviously, they, whoever they are, they caused all your problems. And if it wasn't for them, you'd be doing way better. That's a great way to just give your power away and to feel powerless at all times. People who are successful take full responsibility for themselves. Even if what happened to them wasn't their fault, they take responsibility from that moment, whatever it is. They take responsibility for how they feel now and what they're going to do with their futures. So take full responsibility for yourself. Tell yourself. I don't care what happened in the past. If something happened that was negative, I'm creating a new life for myself now and this is what I'm going to do. And you'll feel better and you'll take better actions which will create a better life for you. Number 21, sleep in a negative state. Every night when you go to sleep, tell yourself how horrible things are, how you hate your life, how you know, you can't, you're not looking forward to tomorrow and picture things of a negative nature. And what's going to happen is you're going to give those negative images to your subconscious and it's going to work on them for the next eight to 10 hours. So in life fashion, do the opposite. Give your subconscious ideas of a positive nature before you go to sleep. The last 15 minutes before you go to sleep, your brain begins to go from beta, this awake state of consciousness, into alpha, which is what takes place when you're in deep meditation. And then for some people, they go into theta, depending on how deep they sleep immediately and how tired you are. So you want to show yourself images of you succeeding, of you winning. Give yourself positive self-talk. See yourself sleeping in the environment that you want to sleep in. I actually got this idea from Neville Goddard, the famous Christian mystic. And he used to say that this is, or he did say, this is a secret to life. He said, most people think 
the two thirds of their waking life dictates the one third that they're asleep. But he said it's actually the opposite. If you'll program yourself for success, that one third will create the two thirds that you want. So show yourself images of you of you winning, of you being a success. And he said never go to sleep in a negative state. He said never because you're programming yourself in a negative fashion. So he said never go to sleep in a negative state. He said always show yourself what it is you want. Show yourself you know winning, succeeding. Talk to yourself in a positive way so your subconscious will go to work on that. Next, number 22, run your body down. Overwork, overdrink, whatever it is, over anything is never good. So you don't want to run your body down. There's a, just as there's laws, you know, spiritual laws such as the law of attraction, there's laws of the body. There's the law of nourishment, there's a law of recuperation, there's the law of sanitation. So you want to take good care of yourself because when your body's healthy, your mind is healthy and you'll feel better and you'll attract better things to you. Don't, number 23, don't do what you like. This is pretty self-explanatory, but just go about doing all things that you're supposed to do. Esther Hicks, I mentioned her earlier, she said, never do anything out of obligation. So many people are doing things because they think they have to do it. But she said, if there's something you have to do, first put yourself in a positive state and then reframe whatever it is you think you have to do. She said, but never do anything out of obligation. Go do those things that you like. We're all here for a... a certain amount of time and make this you know time on earth as joyful as possible number 25 never question your belief systems this is a great way to manifest what you don't want don't uh, you know open the cover and peer under the hood so to speak of your own mind and what you want to do obviously is the opposite ask yourself why do i respond in this way or why did i react in this way every night what i like to do is i show myself the actions of the day and anything that was negative that I did, I tell myself, I have no need nor desire for this. So I'm making myself, my subconscious aware. I have no need nor desire for this. And I show myself the positive opposite. Me doing whatever it is that, you know, that I wanted to do or th- things going the way I would have liked them to go. It's a great way to train yourself. And lastly, number six, I think I've already touched on this, but think whatever you want. Go ahead, if you want to one day think about how, you know, you might lose your job or you might lose this or whatever, that's a great way to manifest what it is that you don't want. Instead, obviously, focus on what it is you do want. Think thoughts of a positive nature. You should have, or I I recommend this, have at least a few affirmations that are your go-to affirmations so that irrespective of whatever's going on in your life, you can start to repeat them and put yourself in a positive state at will. So you're essentially training yourself for success. And every thought you think, there's a law of cause and effect. Every thought you think is a new cause which will create a new effect. And when you have certain affirmations that work for you, you already know that this cause, me thinking this, will produce this effect. And essentially it's a secret to life. You're using the law of cause and effect to create this amazing life for yourself. That's why the rich get richer. They're thinking certain thoughts, they're taking certain actions, and they're using the law of cause and effect in a certain way to just produce the same effects over and over and over again. So in like fashion, you can do the same for you. Now, I'm going to give you a few ways to manifest what it is that you do want. I've touched on these already, but obviously every morning you want to meditate. Spend some time in meditation every day. A few things happen when you meditate. One, as I mentioned earlier, your resistance begins to diminish. Resistance meaning, let's say you want to take your dream vacation. And you might be thinking, well, I can't afford it. I don't know if I can get the time off. Will the dates work? All of that is resistance. It's not a, You're not a vibrational match to what it is you want when you think thoughts such as that. So what you want to do is when you meditate, you you begin to focus on your breathing. There's different ways, by the way, to meditate. But let's say you're focusing on your breathing. All of those thoughts, you know, I don't know if I can afford it, all that stuff begin to diminish you because you're not thinking, you're focusing on your breath. And then you start to feel peaceful and harmonious. And as a result, you start to manifest what you want. So one, meditate every day. Two, visualize. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So show yourself every day you images, I mean, excuse me, images of you winning, of you being a success, of you being a powerhouse of good, and watch how your life transforms. Next, affirm your good. Tell yourself you're the best, you're the greatest. Tell yourself, I like myself. Say it over and over, I like myself, I approve myself, I like myself, I like myself. When you say, tell yourself you like yourself, I got this from Brian Tracy, the, the basically the godfather of the self-help movement in the United States. 
He said, when you say to yourself, I like myself, this affirmation acts as a healing tonic, a healing balm to all of your negative subconscious concepts. And as a result, your self-esteem will improve and so will the actions that you take and your vibration will raise. Number four, start your day on a positive note. When you wake up in the morning, be thankful. Look around for things in your immediate surroundings that you could be grateful for. Thank you for my bed. Thank you for a roof over my head. Just small minor things and you're essentially pre-paving your day. You're putting yourself on a positive track. I also, speaking of tracks, I have affirmation tracks. I have a morning prayer blessing and other affirmation tracks on my YouTube channel or on this YouTube channel, depending on if you're watching this or listening to this, that you can listen to every morning that'll put you in a positive state of mind. Next, control your emotions. I mentioned that emotional guidance skill. Be aware of your emotions and constantly work to feel better. Focus on feeling good. There's nothing more important than you feeling good. And lastly, study the best spiritual teachers and apply what they teach. I recommend doing immersions where you go to a seminar and you spend eight or 10 hours or maybe longer and that teacher's energy fully absorbing what it is that they teach. And obviously I recommend books and audio books and audio tracks because you can get a whole education just driving to work. You can drive to work, do your affirmations, visualize what you want all on the way to work. You've done your spiritual practice in the morning, your spiritual growth, and it hasn't taken any more energy out of your day. So the, on your drive, your commute to and from work, you could really be transforming your life. Now, if you liked what it is that I shared with you today, I highly recommend you sign up for my mailing list. It's free. Once a week, I'll send you an email with you know affirmations, tips, and strategies to live your best life. And if you want to dive deeper, there I have two resources for you. One, there's my How to Manifest Your Dream Life ebook. It's everything I know put into one book. It's a great way to begin transforming your life now. And also, I have my Law of Attraction Masterclass. I have had over 11,000 people go through this course. It's almost nine hours in length. It covers the A to Z in metaphysics. It'll transform your life. I take you by the hand and we set goals. We create new images for your subconscious. We shift your vibration. I literally walk you through everything that it took me, you know, 20 plus years to learn. And it's got over a 4.95 rating. So people love it. And I know you'll love it too. And I have it on sale right now. Normally it's $197. I'm having it on sale for only $97, so you'll save 100 bucks if you get it this month. And the promo code is going to be PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. So I'll have that in the description below. So you can learn everything I want simply and easily, and it'll help you transform your life so you have the life of your dreams. And obviously, be sure to subscribe and follow. And thank you guys for your support, and I'll be back soon with more great content for you.